All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about fall damage and how we can completely negate it entirely. And uh, we're definitely not going to show uh, any bloopers of me uh, failing spectacularly while showcasing these incredibly easy maneuvers. That definitely won't be a part of this at all. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> All right, guys, if you love what we're doing here, please use our support of creator code. It really, really helps us out to keep doing what we're doing here. Thank you so much, guys. You guys rock. All right, let's get right into it. Okay, so there is a lot of different ways that you can negate the effects of fall damage. Falling from any height and having no problem whatsoever. Falling like a cat. Safe. No damage. No! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Did I seriously clip the slightest little bit of nothing on... So here's how it works. There are three classes in the game that can negate fall damage. We have the soldier. The soldier also... Not all soldiers. I shouldn't say all soldiers. But any soldier with the shockwave ability can negate fall damage just by hitting shockwave before you hit the ground. Now, if you hit it from too high, you're going to splatter all over the ground. But if you hit it right before you hit the ground, no problem. Uh, if you hit it too soon, you'll either hurt yourself or you'll kill yourself outright. But as long as you hit it, you know, within a safe distance, a safe jumping distance from the ground, it will reset your point of descent and uh, hit the ground safely and take absolutely no damage whatsoever. You can fall from the very top of the map all the way to the ground, smash into the ground, and just be like, oh yeah, totally fine. Number one. Oh, <laughs> no, no, Mings, no. All right, so, uh, the, the Outlanders are also really, really awesome. Outlanders debatedly have, like, the best anti-fall defense in the entire game. If your Outlander comes with phase shift, as most of the good ones do, uh, phase shift will completely, totally save you. And not just save you, but the strategy of, of phase shift is absolutely incredible because with phase shift, you can... You can, you can phase shift way before you get... Like, it's, it's the same idea as shockwave. You want to phase shift before you hit the ground. You want to make sure you don't sh do it too high up. Otherwise, you'll just fall from... It'll reset your, your point of descent. So if you, you know, do it too high up, you'll still fall far enough to take damage again. But um, if you do it properly, you can... Yeah, you can jump from anywhere. But not just jump anywhere. You can use phase shift multiple times. So you could, like, phase shift and then phase shift to cushion your fall to like, you know, if you're, if you're panicking and you're like, oh my God, and you can actually hit phase shift and then and reset and then phase shift again and reset and it, it'll, it'll slow you right down. It'll be, it's incredible. You just phase shift, phase shift, phase shift. You get like three or four phase shifts depending on what character you're using. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just amazing. You basically cannot crater. It's the greatest ability. It's so good. It's so, it, 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 your mobility is, you're in so, so much control of your mobility and it's like, you couldn't possibly kill yourself. It's, it's not even possible. Oh, come on. <sighs> anyway, um, so then we're going to go on to the ninja. The ninja is um, actually the best class in the game for negating fall damage because they can't take fall damage. <laughs> the, the phase shift is is just amazing right because the phase shift allows you to uh to to fall but ninjas just like have built-in cushions on their feet right like when you when you're jumping as a ninja and you hit the ground from any distance there is no fall damage so ninjas can do whatever they want uh they can they they even have triple jump you can even get a triple jump as a team perk so you can jump all over the place and you can do all kinds of crazy things like uh, using the different 
mobility weapons like spectral blade for doing spectral slashes uh or wallopers or lead sleds or guardians wills to to do the the leaping strike uh falling from any distance at all and like taking no damage whatsoever you can use all the crazy tactics it's it's just delightful it's super funny it's super entertaining uh because the ninjas have just natural innate immunity to fall damage you can do the dumbest things that you could possibly imagine on the ninjas so if you hate fall damage ninja's your best friend now going back to spectral blade lead sled walloper and guardians will we're going to talk about those because these are weapons that can be used to actually negate the effects of fall damage um, the spectral blade is unique there's it's the only uh, the only ability like it, when you use the heavy attack on the Spectral Blade, it will do a Spectral Slash, striking forward, doing a small blink, so you actually move forward, and then it will reset your your, your fall, dam your fall uh, velocity from the height that you reset to. So if you drop from the top of the map and you go all the way down, as long as you Spectral Slash before you hit the ground, boop, nothing. Totally negated. You, right before you hit the ground, poop, you just stop, you teleport forward an inch, and then you're done. You're just like, oh, hey, totally fine. You can do it with any character, not just a ninja. You can do it with a with a soldier. You can do it with an outlander, constructor. Constructor noteworthy is, you know, is the most noteworthy class for using these weapons because it has no actual um, safety net naturally. It doesn't have a shockwave or a phase shift or anything or, or natural immunity. Um, you know, the, the constructor is a prime candidate for utilizing weapons to negate fall damage. I use it all the time on my constructor when I'm doing repair the shelter because I'll build a ramp up into the sky and do spotting to find all of the bots all over the place for my teammates. And, uh, and then, you know, when I see one that they're not close to, I'll just jump off the edge and right before I hit the ground, you use the guardian's will to negate the fall damage. As soon as you hit it, your guy will immediately jump up and forward through the air and then straight flying down until he hits the ground so as long as you do it relatively close to the ground you reset that fall and completely negate the damage and it, it the same thing goes for the lead sled and the same thing goes for the walloper the lead sled has the exact same leaping safety net so as long as you hit it before you hit the ground you'll get this nice big jumping leap slash which you can activate mid-air and boom you're clear now, if you do it too high up, you're going to go and smash yourself all over the floor because it will leap forward and it will just keep on going down and down and down and down. Oh, no, 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 I don't. Now, this is really cool when you're a ninja because you can do this from any height. And it's really hilarious when you use this from like crazy mega like you jump way up in the air and then you slash all the way down and just crush right onto the head of some helpless enemy it looks amazing it's super hilarious and that doesn't work when you're not using a ninja <laughs> so things to note if you're trying to save yourself from fall damage and you're not a ninja make sure you wait until you're about to hit the ground before you trigger the safety <laughs> the giant leaping strike otherwise you dead <laughs> you so dead so yeah the walloper the lead sled and the guardians will all have the giant leap attack it is amazing now last but not least is a bonus we're going to, we're going to talk about the bounce pad now you got to be very 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 careful when using this strategy because when you are placing the bounce pad, it only will ever place on the bottom left square of wherever it is that you're facing. So, <laughs> it is so easy to mess this up. If you, if you are intending to fall, you can jump off the left side of, of a ramp and fall straight down so that you know you're going to land on the bottom left uh, quadrant of the square. There's the, uh, a single tile is broken into four quadrants. The 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 jump pad, the bounce pad, will only go into one of the corner the corners, and it will always go to the bottom left corner. So if you're falling straight down and you're about to hit the ground, and you pre-prep a bounce pad, 
you can slam the bounce pad into the ground as you're hitting the ground and it'll shoot you right back up into the air and you'll be healthy and happy and live and it'll be wonderful but you got to make sure that there's nothing underneath you like a car or a telephone Ew. post oh come on come on bro <laughs> come on migs did this seriously just happen <laughs> you're killing my I video my man video. <laughs> <laughs> It's mixed. It's a stupid telephone pole. Oh. It caught me. I mean, I'm not bitter. It's no, nothing happened. Not, anyway, no, 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 nothing happened. I'm, it was nothing. Um, so uh, moving on, moving on. It, it works every time. It never, ever fails ever. You just put a bounce pad underneath you and you're falling, right? Easy. Easy. <laughs> Consistent way of not. Oh my God. Boom, baby. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, wow. Okay, that was super sick. So, yes, there is a lot of different ways that you can save yourself from fall damage and fear no more. Doesn't matter what class you are, you, ha you have, there are weapons at your disposal. Uh, depending on what class you have, you have actual abilities or innate passives at your disposal. And uh, just being aware of all these different challenges or d different tools at, you know that you have you can basically just be a god never die never fall ever again <laughs> all right guys i hope this video helped you out if it did make sure you like and subscribe leave a thumbs up ring that little bell and comment down below let me know which which of these helps you the most and did i forget any were are there any other uh fall damage tricks that you know of that i didn't mention here uh, because I tried to think of all of them, and these are all the ones I could come up with off the top of my head. But yeah, there's there's always there's always new tricks to learn. So if there's any tricks that I that I've forgotten, make sure you tell me in the comments. I would love to hear it. All right, guys, thank you so much for being a part of the Bash Corps. Thank you for supporting this dream and having my back and just making this possible. I love I love making videos for you guys so much, and you guys inspire me every day to keep on making content. So thank you so much, guys. You guys are awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, we're out here all day, every day, chasing our dream and uh, trying to build this community. If um, if you love what we're doing here and you support the dream, <laughs> and if you have the means to actually donate and contribute to what we're doing here, I would really love for you guys to come out and support us on Patreon. It's the lifeblood of any content creator. It's the only reason that, uh, that we're staying afloat and able to do what we're doing here. And... Um, if you have the means, I would love for you to come out and support us and uh, yeah, help us keep doing what we're doing. Thank you so much, guys.